today we're going to learn how to set up a bungee cord server. So for this to work, you need a server to host a bungee cord or a proxy, as it's right there. And you need two other servers set up with Spigot for this to work. Um, the first step you really want to do is get your bungee cord proxy set up. Um, so what you want to do, I've already got the page up, just search up bungee cord into Google. First page here, um, go to downloads um, and you just click this first link here. Um, I've already got other, these are different versions of bungee cord that I've already got. So I'm going to upload the bungee cord to jar and I'm just going to rename it once it's uploaded. So you just want to go to this part here, this uh, bungee cord proxy server. Go to file management and you just want to press the upload button. And wait for the um, file manager to come up so that you can upload your file. Just give it a second. There you are. So you want to go find the file where you download it. Mine's right there. So I'm going to upload it. It's just going to take a couple of seconds to upload. Give it a couple of seconds to upload him. There you go, it's done. I'm just going to refresh the page then. Quickly. I'm just going to press this. I'm going to press rename just so it's easier. You don't have to rename it. It just makes it easier for yourself. So I'm just going to name it like that. BungieCord.jar. And then you want to go down here to configuration. Start up parameters. And you want to change it. This here to what you just named that file. Mine was capitals. So I'm going to do it with capitals and all so it can find it. Then press update startup parameters and you just want to start up your server. So my server is now starting up and you should see that it's loading. This is all stuff, it's downloading loads of stuff. And what you should say is it should say this right at the bottom. Then you go back to your files and you'll find all these different files. This is where you install your plugins for Bungie Cord. Um, you can pretty much ignore the rest of these files apart from the only file you really want to focus on is config.yml So I'm going to open this up and there's a lot a lot of um, things here that we're, we're going to go through one by one The first thing is player limit. That's just How many players are allowed? It's not really it's just what it was display is your player limit So it's out of a hundred so I'm just gonna put say a hundred here And there's different groups so you can have so the admin group will have all these access to these commands um, and all the default groups you can have different groups you can set that up I'm just going to leave it as default for now the timeout is how long afk timeout pretty much I'm just going to leave it default because it doesn't really matter these you don't really matter log commands is pretty self-explanatory you don't really need to touch that disable commands is say you want to disable the command in the hub or something on a certain server or anything that you want to do um, that's just where you disable any commands now the important part here is servers now this is where we're gonna add all our servers so I'm quickly just gonna open up the panel again just so that we can see all my servers um, the first server we've got is gonna be called our lobby so we're gonna leave it like that and we're gonna you can use color codes for the MOTD here message of the day and we're just gonna be ambi skynode lobby just as our message of the day um, and your address you want to change to your actual address so this is going to be my first server for me so I'm just going to copy over the address and I'm going to paste it there restricted is just will everyone be allowed to join it or not everyone wants to be able to join the server so we're going to, I'm going to copy that to add my second server and I'm just going to change it up so we're going to call this say it was going to be a faction server so we'll call it factions even though it's not actually set up to be a faction server, it's just a normal server. And we're going to change it to factions there. Then you want to go back, get your the other server that you want to set up, and connect to the network, copy the IP, and just paste it in there. So this is going to be the message of now, the day. The message of the day for the your group report. actual um, server that you're going to connect to. So we're going to change this to Ambi Skynode bungee cord because this is going to be the actual bungee cord hosting server that you'll connect to um, and here is just a load of settings I'm not going to play around with um, I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to show you a web page um, that's going to be useful if you just search up bungee cord config um, or something you'll find this page bungee cord configuration guide it's a great page it shows you all the stuff it shows you what all the different things do that I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go through all of these because it would take too long. 
and there's loads of different things that you can read through that you want to if you want to don't that I haven't mentioned here you can find about here um so I'm just going to get back to editing and I'm just going to leave that there now tab list for example is one of the things on here if I just find it is there's three different options so it will do global ping so it shows all the people that are connected to the server global is just without updating the ping and server shows the local players on the server that you're connected to so i'm going to change that to server because that's what i want it as just just to show you it works these don't really matter here i'm um, you can change them if you want to it doesn't really matter they're not going to now force host is going to be for redirection so say if i had say if i had one of my servers set up as a domain as a skynode dot factions as a as a custom domain I could then change that to factions and if when using that IP you would be connect straight to factions but we're not gonna have any of them so I'm just gonna leave that priority is, is basically the main lobby um, the main server that you'll connect to the first connector um, host now you want to go back to here and you just want to grab the IP to your actual server because you know this is the server hosting the actual bungee cord and you're just gonna paste it in there max players Pretty self-explanatory. Max number of players. Tab size sixty. Force default server. Now this is going to be very important for some servers. So, for example, if you want the players every time they join to connect to lobby, you want to set this to true. Or say I went to factions and I want to just go straight back to factions instead of going to lobby then to factions. You want to leave it at false. This will just force you to go back to the main server whenever you join. So I'm going to set that to true. IP forward, you, you don't up. have to, There's but if you want your servers to be on to online do. mode in Spig, you have to go down to here, have it. you want to go to your two servers, recommend that you, have you want to go to the file so called spigot.yml, and you want to change bungee cord to true. And you have to do this for all servers connected to the network. I'm going to set that to true. And then you want to go back to your file management, and you want to go to server.properties, and you want to set online mode to false. And you want to do this for all servers. So if I go back to my servers, I'm going to go back to the bottom one and I'm going to go to file management. I'm going to go spig up the YML, bungee cord true. You have to do this for all servers. You're going to connect to the network. As I've said already, just quickly server the properties online mode false. So you've done that. Just save it up. File saved. You want to restart both the servers, which I forgot to do on the other one. So we're going to go to console restart that should restart then we're going to go to this one and do the exact same restart um my servers i'm going to restart this now so it's restarting thank you goodbye it's starting up again wait for it and we should see it saying um there you go so it's saying the right thing we're just going to go back down to my desktop open up mc it's on the screen Gonna load it up quickly. Um, see, that's a good sign that it's working. If that's like that, it should be working, as far as I know. Um, so you can go to multiplayer, and I've already added the server down here. Skynode lobby. Um, as you can see, that was what we set the message with. There's lobby in, so we're just gonna connect to it. If it, and we're gonna connect straight to the lobby. So I haven't actually done anything on these servers. These are just literally pre-made setup servers that are just there. Um, just purely for the purpose of this video um, then if I type this command slash server um, and you can say you may connect to the following servers at this time factions and lobby which were the two servers that we added in the um, in the config for bungee cord so if I type slash server factions you will see I'll connect to the factions server so you can see that I'm in the faction server and since I left on the faction server, if I rejoin, I will join straight back to the lobby server. So I join back, and I'm straight back in the lobby server because we enabled that setting force default server. Um, you can change that. Um, I'm going to leave a couple links that are going to be useful in the description, like the configuration guide, um, the configuration guide where to download Bungie Cord if you can't find it. Um, and that's really all you need to download, really. And I hope this guide has been useful, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Goodbye.